Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> you guys keep tagging us on videos and you're wondering where could we tag you on more? Well, you can use Discord for that or you can use at WLSK15 on Instagram and TikTok and we will review it. And you tell me one video that answered many questions to me. This is very serious, actually. It's a big, big issue in India at the moment. It's very, very concerning. The question is always, what is better than one tabla? Many tablas. Uh -huh. Let the tablas assemble to the maximum form of a tabla, el tablón. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> I love the tabla so much. Oh, goosebumps! Bro! That's so cool! What does the caption say? What? What does the caption say? This gave me goosebumps. Ah, oh, I literally just said that. What the fuck is that song? I think this is like a re like this is like a mashup of stuff. No, it's a huge dance. I think it's a mashup of stuff. Oh, the harmonies. <laughs> Ah, it's a mashup, Valeska. Oh, the harmonies, though. Oh, Ooh, nice setup. It's Hernan type of setup. You know what Tony is like when you when you have individuals like this, um, it's such a refreshing environment because you're seeing them kind of in their most comfortable, in their most at peace, uh, serene, um, and I guess to a certain extent that's why they shine so much. Mm -hmm. um, but it, nothing of what he fucking did is easy. Like absolutely nothing from beginning to end. Nothing was easy. What is there. his name? Ritik. <laughs> Mate, they just all have a vibe, all of them in this YouTube and Instagram and TikTok how? era. This bro, this fella, is, he's probably a kid. Yeah, like how old is he? 14? 16, 16 or some shit. And he's got a better Instagram than fucking all of us. It's just, it doesn't sound like... How sick is he? 
Bro, he's so good. I feel like I have to pay him for what to what because I just watched him. Music composer and producer. So he he composes is and producer. Elite, lost elite. Yeah, look at him. He's a kid. What is it with his voices? <sighs> I love this guy. It's unfair. The funny it's thing, just unfair. Is that even if you didn't know who he was, or you'd say yourself from another part of the world or whatever, because I know a lot of people from different parts of the world watch the channel. That type of voice is so fucking highly marketable. Like it doesn't matter who you are, you're gonna be That's like right. What is that? What is that? What yeah. is that? You're gonna listen to it. You won't care about language, you won't care about nothing. The other day we were listening to Sajan uh, Raj from Nepal, Nepal yeah. right? And my parents don't know much of his music. And we were no, sitting any, there, any like we were sitting there just chatting and whatever, and he was playing in the background. And my dad was like, oh, Sajan who, Raj Vadia. Who? Ah, that's right. And he was like, who is, what is that? Why, who is it? Why does it sound so good? And I'm like, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> now that's the that's the reaction people get. Like, and he didn't care that it was in another language. He didn't care what type of music he was playing. It was just the initial moment, the that spark of emotion in the moment. That is just so elite. That's what you get with every video that we have checked out today. Insane. What? There's so much talent in the world, man. Like. If you're tired of listening to the music around you, just dive in deep or anywhere else. Explore. Or subscribe to the Future Friday channel. <gasps> hey, Valesca Carrera channel. Subscribe. Ariana Grande with Bollywood. Ah. Oh. Dude, she's, yeah, she's an attractive woman. She Anyways, nope. yeah. I'm just hoping I don't read the history. Uh huh. Boy, I'm trying to meet your mama on a Sunday. Then make a lot of love on a Monday. Oh, she's so sweet. Never be no, no one else, babe. Cause it's a high breather. She's really interesting because you, Ariana Grande. You can kind of, yeah, you can kind of tell even in the in the take of her pop, Ariana Grande sort of a rendition, I guess. That again, I don't know what her background would be. Obviously, you would presume that she. What do you call it when they're like uh, from the south, from the Indian subcontinent? Desi. Desi, right? You would presume that she's probably that's probably uh, you know Indian music is perhaps what she's uh, exposed to the most. Is, you know, does she have a Hindustani or Carnatic background? Who the fuck knows? What's interesting though is that female voices in the Indian subcontinent do seem to be sweeter and you know mainly sopranos to a certain extent mm -hmm. uh, especially commercial uh singers you do have your um uh, autos like shilpa rao you do have um sunit hichauhan mm -hmm. who it's more of a mezzo i guess yeah but it's a the predominant sound is definitely by emulation only yeah. uh, um and and exposure it's definitely higher sopranos that tend to be quite twangy they they're so lifted that even in her pop take in her western pop take it's still very she lifts, lifted. Yeah. It's very lifted and it's and very I don't twangy. think she does it on purpose. No, it's just that like her natural set, set larynx position yep. um, and coming from an 
Indian background singing, even if it's commercial Bollywood songs, they still have the principles of a of a uh, fixed larynx position. So you, you would you would think that even in the pop Western pop take, the the larynx would be set in the same way. Interestingly, as well, it's like it, we shouldn't just say Bollywood because obviously there's so many sub industries within India. No, I'm just uh, going from where what she just said. So I'm just presuming, obviously, from what she's saying that. But let's say she's from another part of India. Like, let's say she, you know, maybe she doesn't even speak Hindi. Maybe she speaks Tamil or Malayalam or Bengal or Punjab or whatever. The female voices in all those sub industries, mm -hmm. like this week we're checking out or we've just checked out um, West Bengal, West Bengal um, Shreya Goshal, one of the, you know, brightest, sweetest voices. Mm -hmm. um, of course, she does have a Hindustani background in terms of classical, um, but she is from West Bengal. She's not uh, from, uh, uh, what would you say, the Bollywood industry itself. Yeah. Um, the capital. So it just seems to be a natural progression if you're a female because that's all the things that you're exposed to, to be that sweet and high. I love that guy. I love that guy so much. Damn, so those syndrome things are so popular in India. I had no I have idea never what seen they them do. before we checked out the Indian music industry. Actually, it before we checked out AR Rahman. I have no idea what they do. Percussion, mate. Ah! Yes. And he's so chilled about it. Mumbai. Oh, I want the full version of that. Whoa, send me it. Fun. If you like this channel, you better send me that. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, be gone. Be gone, you fucking go, bro, my skin, man. Really? Ew, yeah. If you don't feel like someone's gonna fucking grow behind her back and look at the emojis and shit. If say I'm walking around, yeah, and I hear that, I'm fucking running. Why? At it's nighttime. Beautiful. Are you mad? Are you mad? At nighttime. Listen, I love that. During I... Halloween. Ah. Uh... Yeah, this was five days ago. So it was like uh... 29th, 28th of October. I'm gone. See ya. Amiga tomare. You know, <laughs> fucking chamaca chalo. You know, <laughs> fucking piss off. Keep <laughs> Arijit Singh and Mike. We know you should listen. Such an old trick. Oh, I love that texture. <laughs> oh, Ali Abad? <laughs> <laughs> she is literally in every video. I think there's not one week where we don't check out something where she's in it. She's not in it yet. One of my favorite tracks that he's made. I like it. 
You know what's incredible? Ah, but that... still giving music, like, he's a joke, but still giving music. You know, I just love the fact that in this stripped versions like that this mixed mixes that people put out there you can really hear like the vocal texture that sometimes gets like dragged underneath everything else that happens in the in in the track yep. so for for vocal purposes it's so nice to hear the textures the 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 raspiness the edge of even even exhaustion or something to it it's so raw it gives so much more emotion and there are certain there there are certain songs that highlight those things and there are some that just kind of like put them underneath everything else that happens depending on where the production of the song goes you can really get a hold of what they were looking for in the vocals but yeah, like after actually, seeing him live like you actually can't listen to some of the texture that he naturally adds to things in the mixed version <laughs> The ishke he, it's for him, so it's a, breathy, it's yeah. so throaty, and here it sounds uh, well, the same, but Smooth. not as throaty, but a bit it's smoother. smoother. But yeah, because yeah. there's a lot of layering in the music aspect of it. Yeah. It's it's um, again, it's such a magical track. I feel like this song. What's magical about it is the chord progression at the act, that mm. it's companion to the vocal. Funnily enough, uh, not, there's not many singers that you actually do this, where you compare the stripped version to the unstripped version, mm. and then you say that the stripped version has things that the strip that the non-stripped version doesn't. Yeah, it's usually the other way around. Yeah. Um. So that just says to the caliber of that man. Apart from that, adios. Hope you enjoyed.